Hello and welcome to another video for Taz McCarthy, this time on homemade vacuum forming. We have a machine that's been made here for only a couple hundred dollars, the main cost coming from the metal in the frame and the two heaters which are just cheap heaters from the hardware store. Basically the way it works is we have our two heaters mounted side by side vertically in our custom metal frame and then we have this section here which closes down to clamp a piece of timber and in between the two bits of timber we put our plastic and then this whole section also hinges up and down so it can go up to the top and be heated by the heaters until it's soft and then we lower it back down and we just have a simple box with holes drilled in the top connected up to a vacuum cleaner to get our vacuum part. So the process goes that we put our models down the bottom that we want to do a plastic mold over the top of and then we'll load up the plastic. Loading up the plastic is just a case of putting a piece in between the two sides of the wooden guide frame and I have different sizes of this whether I want to do the whole machine or two A4 sizes and I've also got one that does a single A3. So we take out the screw puncture a hole there and then we can put the screw back in and tighten it up and what we're looking for is for it to do up nice and tightly so we have an air airtight seal on all sides so we repeat that times eight okay the plastic is in place they're locked on all four corners and we have clasped this bit tight so what we can do now is switch on the two heaters which come to life and lift up the plastic to start heating. While we do that we can prepare our two pieces that we're moulding over. Here we have modelling foam painted with a white protective um, product called Roscoe Foam Coat and what I'm going to do here is do little pin pricks in some of the centre bits. This will just help the air be able to suck through and get all the little details here. If you don't paint the foam coat onto the white foam, you'll find that it actually melts from the heater, which is not very good. Once our plastic is softened, because it feels like cling film, we're ready to turn on the vacuum cleaner and vacuum form. We pop out the mould and we have our finished vacuum formed part. 